What's up guys, Dlibs here. Today we're going to be doing a complete defensive setup guide for Border. I'll basically give all five operators you're going to need and what to do with each operator respectively. And yeah, without further ado, let's get started with our first one here. First operator we're going to need here on lockers is going to be Solus. Now Solus is going to be sitting downstairs for most of the round, but before you go downstairs, you don't have a whole lot to do, so you might as well go and reinforce these three walls here. Perfect, so now we're going to go and head downstairs, and Solus is pretty much going to be setting up camp down here in workshop and server, so, so she's pretty much going to stay alive for much of the round as she can she's not going to get too aggressive she's not really a roamer i mean she is but the whole point of her is to stay alive until the end of the round do some vertical be able to take out the attackers when they're upstairs she's really down here for support and she doesn't have to get too aggressive you know she doesn't really have to rotate but if she is needed then she can just go ahead and rotate right on back up into objective just in case the anchors do need her second operator we're going to need is valkyrie now valk's going to be hanging out here in office so you can throw your first cam somewhere around here right around in office so that you can check it second cam I like to put in CCTV over here. There seems to always be attackers chilling in here, so it's good to have a cam. It doesn't have to necessarily be right here, but if you can find a cam somewhere in here, somewhere to place it, it's it's a good one to have. And our third and final cam will go here on metal stairs. So we have these metal stairs covered up, we have a server over here covered up, and then we also have office covered up in here. And yeah, this is where Valk is going to be chilling for most of the round. She's just going to be holding this down in here, of course, this is a very common spot that the attackers will push in from. So it's probably best if she does reinforce these walls over here, because as soon as the attackers do see that she's holding this down they're probably going to push her pretty hard so that's why valk is super super important over here and that's why we have the cam setups that we do the only thing that we're blind to is east stairs over here but there is a default cam so i'm not too worried about it but we're gonna be able to see when people are coming in from server from break room over there when they're coming up from top metal stairs and then of course if we stay around until the end of the game if the attackers are pushing in to office to be able to get control of objective then we're going to have an upper hand on them in here third operator we're going to need is bandit a bandit of course is just going to go and reinforce these walls over here in lockers these are the main breach walls so he's gonna reinforce them not sure what's going on with that animation there and then also place down his shock wires and i mean typically i like to roam with bandit but in this case scenario like we already have the solus downstairs we already have the valk sitting in office so we're actually gonna have bandit sit in objective he's gonna anchor it down he's actually gonna sit over here in archives we're gonna have someone hold down lockers over here pretty much just hold down this back part so we're not gonna have to worry about over here of course he can bandit trick so he can spend some time over here in case the attackers are getting breach open but for the most part it's good to have bandit over here he's going to hold down this side of the objective now our fourth operator we're going to need here is azami now azami is going to be the one that is holding down this back part of the objective here so she can manipulate the objective however she sees fit i like to definitely have a kiba barrier right here on top of this you know these little seats here just so it gives me a nice little pixel peek to be able to see the door over here and also the breach but it also gives you a, a really nice like barricade of cover so you can pretty comfortably hold down back here you don't want get too glued down to back here though because they of course can like grenade you from underneath and you know or they can even grenade you from just outside so make sure you're not just holding down here exclusively additionally with your deagle you can make these little footholds on the right side of the soft wall here this is just going to give you a nice little line of sight onto their feet the attackers feet out here in case they do decide to walk in so and then while you're at it you should reinforce that left side of the wall but yeah back to the kiba barriers i like to place another one of mine right here on this side of the wall as you can see it does give you a nice little peek onto the door and that does give give you some more room back here if you need to rotate from where I am right now over to here you know it, it gives you a little bit more cover so that you don't get caught in the crossfire of you know some random attacker who just sprang through that door there because now you have that Kiba barrier there to protect you then of course if they do breach through here she can use her Kiba barriers to patch them over I mean it's a temporary fix but anything you can do to slow down the attackers that's really the best thing now our fifth and final operator for this objective is going to be Goyo Goyo is going to be anti-entry pretty much so I'll definitely place one of my Vulcans right here um, uh, you know from the the door from fountain into objective i'll probably put two back here so i'll put one next to the door and they'll put one on the floor here as well just so that our zombie who's holding back here can have a little bit of a scapegoat if she needs to destroy it real quick you know slow down the attackers so she does have two of them here and then last one we'll put over here in metal right at the entrance into objective and that for the most part is everything that goyo has to do he is going to be another one of our anchors so like i said we already have a zombie holding down this back part of the objective we have bandit in here so goyo can really do whatever he pleases he can go back and forth he can help out whoever he needs to and you know if he needs to lurk if he needs to rotate around of course he's fine with doing that as well but yeah just as a really quick recap we have a zombie goyo and bandit all anchoring we have valk lurking over here in office and then solace is downstairs roaming so yeah now we're going to move on to our first floor objective which is going to be workshop and ventilation first operator we're going to need here is mute mute is just like a really fundamental operator he's really just always a good one to have so first up with the shotgun you can go ahead and make it rotate hole between the two objectives like so 
And while you're at it, you can place your first mute jammer right next to the main window in ventilation. Then you can put your second mute jammer down right in a server on the door. We'll put our third one on the other side of workshop at the door. And then we'll put our fourth one right here in reception at the main double door. Now you're not quite done with mute. You do have a lot to do during the preparation phase. So you're gonna wanna make a rotate here between workshop and the bathroom. And you're not actually gonna be holding this down as mute, but we are gonna have an operator just in a little bit that is gonna be holding this down. So we're just making a rotate for them. And you don't have to do this with mute. You can do this with the other operator, but I'm just gonna get it out of the way now so I don't have to do it twice. You are gonna wanna reinforce these walls here just to cut off the attackers from being able to get in from any other entrance. So you're just making like a nice cozy little area in here so that one of our defenders can hold it down. The second operator here is gonna be Rook. Of course, you're gonna wanna place down your Rook armor first. And then Rook is going to be the one that's gonna be holding it down here in bathroom. So you can go ahead and reinforce these three little soft walls on the side of bathroom and workshop. Perfect. And then you can also get this one over here that leads out into reception. Now as Rook, you're gonna be holding it down in here in bathroom. Remember, this wall should be reinforced as well. That's really important. Basically, you know, you can hop on your, your cameras. You can see wherever someone is coming in over here. This is just like a really common spot that the attackers will come in from. They'll, you know, come in from passport over here, or they're coming from lobby, or they'll come down east stairs, whatever it may be. Just this door right here has such a high volume. And so if you catch someone coming in from over here and they happen to peek you, it's just a super nice, easy kill to have. You have Rook, you have the 2.0 scope, nothing too crazy. And then of course, if things do get out of hand, you can just go ahead, run right on in here, reinforce that rotate hole back up, and you can help your teammates back out in objective. And that's pretty much everything for Rook. Our third operator is going to be Castle. Now Castle is going to be holding down upstairs, but before he goes anywhere, he should use his first barricade on the main ventilation window. You can place one of his proximity alarms over here at main entrance. His second Castle barricade is going to go right here at this little door over here, leading into Customs, and then our other one's going to go on the other side of Customs, like so. And then you can place your other proximity alarm on this door here. This will help out the Rook in case, you know, he's not looking and someone does come in here, then he'll be able to hear it. Now Castle's going to go and head upstairs. He does still have one of his barricades remaining and that is on purpose he's going to be holding down the vertical so he's going to keep one of his barricades just to protect himself while he's up here in case the attackers do decide to come and push him so we'll place a castle barricade on this door right here in lockers and then he is going to reinforce both of these walls as well it just gives a little bit of extra protection to castle while he is holding it down up here now you do have the super shorty as castle so you're going to want to make a hole right here where i made it here you can see that you have a clear shot right onto that ventilation window again just a super super common spot that the attackers will push from and so you're able to see them from above and so they might not even know but you're able to have the advantage the peekers advantage over them and you can get a free kill or if you wait for them to hop in of course that's another free kill but it just adds so much pressure onto them and it forces them to go somewhere else and hopefully that somewhere else is going in you know to the main entrance or into the lobby or the waiting room where rook is waiting to kill them so this is where our first little hole in the floor is going to be of course you can hold down all of upstairs but you're going to want to make a second hole over right over here where I just made it so you can see we have a clear shot onto the door that leads into ventilation from main entrance over here so castle is going to be able to hold all of this down this is pretty much just making ventilation somewhat viable because it's such an awkward objective like it's just it's tiny it's really hard to hold down there's like not much you can do inside of the actual objective and so castle is going to hold it down from upstairs for as long as he possibly can of course he might need to get back into objective but ideally he'll be able to get some kills up here and extend the round and make the attacker is just super uncomfortable. And then while you're up here, you should also get this hatch here. Ideally, if you hold down the vertical good enough, you wouldn't have to worry about anyone getting to the hatch, but it's just not worth the risk. Now moving on to our fourth operator, which is going to be Jaeger. I'll place my first ADS right on the server door here leading into main entrance. I'll put my second one right on the ground over here from workshop into reception. And then I'll put my third one over here on ventilation window right at the bottom. Like I said, just a super common spot the attackers will push in from, so it's good to have some extra utility. Now Jaeger is going to be an anchor, but he does have much more leeway than Mute or Rook who are also anchors because obviously I'd rather have Jaeger rotate out of objective if you needed to rather than, you know, Rook or, or Mute. So if you need someone to rotate around, you know, maybe you need a flank and the roamers are already dead, then, you know, Jaeger's going to be your guy. But for the most part, he's going to be anchoring with Rook and Mute. And so those are our three anchors just as a reminder. And Castle, of course, is going to be holding down upstairs, you know, keeping the vertical secured. Our fifth operator on this objective is going to be Ella. Again, the more utility, the better. So I'll place my first Grismont on the ventilation window, put some barbed wire in front of the main entrance, and some more on top of the metal stairs. Second Grismont will go on the door from reception into workshop. 
and then we'll place our third Grismot on the door that goes from reception into lobby. Again, another piece of utility that's going to help out our Rook whenever he hears somebody enter in from over here. Now Ella, of course, is going to be our main roamer, so she's going to go and head upstairs. Now we do have our castle already holding it down here in archives and lockers, so we're going to want to stay away from this side of the objective as much, or from this side of the map as much as we can. So as Ella, normally I'll hold down break room or CCTV as much as I can, and then whenever I'm needed, I'll rotate around, you know. Sometimes I'll go around east stairs, but most of the time it's probably best to rotate down metal stairs, and whenever you're needed, you can get back into objective as well. So that's everything for first floor workshop and ventilation. Now we'll head on to first floor bathroom and tellers. First operator we're going to need is Maestro. So you're going to want to use one of your impacts to make a rotate hole in between the objectives like so. Now our first evil eye cam is going to go right here in the middle of this little hallway between the door and the main window. And then we're going to place our second one on this wall right here because, you know, if you're holding down right here, you know, sitting right here in this little shower area, if you check your cam real quick, you can see where they are. You can quickly peek around, get a quick kill, whatever it may be. So that's where our second evil eye is going to go. And then we're going to put our third evil eye here right in the middle of lobby. Just has some more utility, some more support. Well, why does it look like that? That was weird. I've never seen that before. But anyways, yeah, as Maestro, you're going to be anchoring down objective, of course. That was probably a gimme. But also make sure to barricade these windows and, you know, another extra layer of support. Probably best to reinforce this wall as well. But as Maestro, you're going to be holding it down inside of bathroom as much as you can. So you make these little peeking holes in between this soft wall. It gives you the slightest line of sight into this little, you know, barricade over here in case you need to get a kill. In case, you know, anyone does hop in. You can also see that from your evil eye that you place in front of the window. So you're pretty much going to be using all the information that you're getting from your evil eyes as Maestro to hopefully get some kills from back here in bathroom. So, you know, you see someone hop in from that window, you can just shoot them right through here. Or if you see someone come in from this door over here from this evil eye, you can just peek right around this corner here and get a quick kill as well. Our second operator is going to be Mozzie. Now Mozzie's going to be some more intel, so you don't really have to place your pests anywhere in particular. You don't really have to follow the ones that I'm putting down. I would actually do this one back here on this drone hole because this drone hole is actually like so overpowered. Mozzie is going to be our roamer. He'll be holding it down upstairs for the most part. Of course, he can rotate around downstairs and get back into objective if he needs to, if our anchors are dying. But ideally, he'll be able to hold it down up here. And then while he's at it, he should also reinforce this top hatch, of course, as well. That is just a super important one to have. Our third operator here is going to be Smoke. I like to place my barbed wire here in front of this window. Then we'll place our second barbed wire here right on top of the door from, you know, reception into waiting room. And then Smoke is going to be like our main anti-entry guy. He doesn't have a whole lot to do in the preparation phase, so he can go ahead and reinforce these two left side walls just like that. And then he's going to make a little tiny rotate here from workshop into bathroom, just like how we had on the last objective. And now it's one thing you have to note with this rotate, you're literally making a complete wide open hole for the attackers to walk into objective at any time. So you have to be able to reinforce this if things are getting a little bit crazy because you're literally just giving a, a, a hole for them to walk into. And the reason why we do this is because we're holding this down pretty hard and it's a really good rotation to have. So if you can make it work, it's the best case scenario. But if not, you have to know when to fold them. So reinforce it back up. But yeah, we're going to have our master holding it down pretty hard here in bathroom. Now smoke is going to be holding it down, anchoring over here in tellers. So of course, if someone does hop in, you know, he has his shotgun, his SMG, and he also does have his smoke canisters as well, of course. So he's just our main anti-entry. Of course, you do have Maestro as well, who's there to help out. But of course, Smoke is going to be the main line of defense. Our fourth operator is going to be Wamai. He's of course just anti-gadget. You know, there's nothing really special about him. You could always go Jaeger instead if you really want him to. But we already used Jaeger once this video, so I'm just trying to change it up a little bit. Place your Magnet systems, you know, wherever the, the most common spots are for the attackers to come in from. So this window will be good. Between these two windows is also a good one to have. But yeah, there's no like set spots. You really have to place them. Just put them in the important spots. And then Wamai is also going to be helping out our Maestro holding it down in here. Of course, this is why I said that you really have to hold this down hard if you're going to have this rotate here. So we'll have Maestro mostly just holding down bathroom, not really, you know, doing too much rotating, but Wamai will be able to rotate in and out whenever he really wants to. But like I said, you really got to pay attention to it because they could just walk in from the opposite side of the map over here and they're just going to have a clear walk in right into objective. So you got to hold it down hard, but it's just such a good rotation to have. So just as a recap, we're going to have Omai holding it down in bathroom and rotating in and out of workshop. Maestro is also going to be anchoring in bathroom. Smoke will be anchoring over here in tellers. And then Mozzie will be roaming upstairs second floor. Now we're going to get into our fifth and final operator, which is Vigil. And now Vigil is going to be another one of our roamers, but he's going to be taking a slightly different approach from Mozzie. So Mozzie's holding it down upstairs and Vigil's actually going to hold down first floor, specifically customs. So in here, this is just such a, a common 
common spot, you know, I say it so many times, you know, common spots for the attackers to come in from, that's what you really have to drill into your head as a defender, and so you have to think like an attacker. This is such a big room, and it just gives so much versatility, because you can do so much with Vigilant here, you can rotate out the backside over bottom metal, you can rotate into workshop, you can go back into objective over here with the rotate, or you can just keep going back around, and of course you can rotate through passport as well, this is of course soft, so you can use your impact grenades to be able to get through, and then you have lobby control as well, or waiting room. Holding down custom, you know, really on any objective here on first floor, but specifically this one with bathroom and tellers is just absolutely vital. And so that's what Vigil is going to be doing, and that's really the main difference between Vigil and Mozzie. Now, of course, if one of them needs help and, you know, the other one is kind of just chilling, then the other one can rotate around and, and help them out a little bit. There is a lot of cushion with that, but yeah, that's what Vigil is going to be doing. So yeah, that's everything. That is all of the operators that you're going to need for all three of the main objectives here on Border. If you enjoyed or if there's a certain video that you guys want to see next or a certain map, please let me know down in the comments. Go ahead and press the playlist that's on screen now as well if you want to see more Rainbow Six Siege videos. But besides for that, I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.